Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Farah and in today's video, we're going to talk about race condition attacks and then I'm going to tell you some test cases or some common areas where you can try to look for these bugs. Now, before we get into this video, I would like to thank IP Info for sponsoring this video. So what is IP Info? It's all in the name. IP Info provides accurate, up-to-date IP address information including geolocation data, VPN detection, abuse contacts and other data types in a fast and clean API. They've been doing this for 8 years and they handle over 40 billion API requests every month. They also provide a bunch of free features and tools that can be super handy for getting data quickly. One of the most common use cases for me is just to check my own public IP addresses by running curl IP info or to check the details of another IP address that I'm investigating by running curl IP info and then that IP address. If you want to play with the data yourself, I would recommend grabbing the IP info Golang client from github.com slash ipinfo slash cli and running some commands. So what are race conditions? Race condition is when two threads are sent at the same time for the exact same functionality. So let's look at an example. Imagine you have a hotel booking application and two of your customers try booking the last room for the same day and they do this at the exact same millisecond. Now if your application does not have the mechanism to handle this correctly, then both those requests might end up double booking the hotel room. Race conditions can be tested using Burp's Turbo Intruder extension. They have an inbuilt script called race.py which by default sends 30 concurrent requests and these default settings can be changed to adjust to a higher or a lower number of requests and they have a bunch of other settings and configurations that you can play around with. If you're testing this on a bug bounty target, then make sure you check for any limitations that the program might have about sending in too many concurrent requests. So now that we have that aside, let's talk about some test cases or some common areas where you can look for race condition bugs. The first scenario where you can look for race condition bugs is while redeeming gift cards, coupons and vouchers and this feature can typically be found in an e-commerce application. So when you try to send more than one request like this at the exact same millisecond, then you might be able to redeem the coupon more than once. This essentially happens because before the app can invalidate the coupon, the next request is sent which leads to the same discount being applied more than once. I'm also going to link some disclosed reports down below for all of these bugs in case you want to check it out. Another spot where you can look for race condition bugs is when you see functionality like following someone, liking or upvoting posts or comments and functionality like this can be found on social media applications, forums, community sharing platforms where there's usually a scoreboard or a rank of which user has the highest number of followers or which post has the highest likes and race conditions here can allow an attacker to manipulate these numbers and increase their rank on the platform. Now, some applications have the functionality to invite members to a team through an invite link. Now, while signing up with that invite link, a race condition bug might allow an attacker to sign up with more than one account. And this might allow a team member who is the attacker in this case to create a backdoor account which might persist on the team even after the attacker's legitimate user has been removed. The same bug can be used to bypass certain limitations and gain access to premium features like adding more users to a team than allowed in your plan. This brings me to my next point. When apps have free and different tiers of paid plans, there are always some restrictions on the free user. For example, in a photo editing app, a free user might be able to create only five projects. However, using race conditions, if multiple concurrent requests are sent, then the attacker might be able to bypass this limit. This happens because before the app can validate that the free user's limit has been exceeded, another request is sent for project creation, which ends up creating more projects than the user is allowed to. So that's all I had for you in this video. I tried a new style for this video, so if you like this kind of a style, let me know and I will create videos in this format more often. I hope you learned something new and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!